Hello, everyone. My name is Franziska Bonat. I'm today's host of the Bite Size Talk. And with me is uh, Maxime, newly member of the Sekera team. And he is here today to talk about, uh, and of course, sub workflows. Very interesting. Indeed. <clears throat> so, hello, everyone. Uh, let me share my screen. Just I'm sharing my full screen because I have a. I'm trying some de demo as well at some point, so I think it's a bad idea, but uh, I need to try that. Sorry. Okay, full size screen. So, hello everyone. So, my name is Maxime Garcia. I'm working at Segera Labs in the scientific development team. I'm still working in Stockholm, but like remotely for Barcelona. But yes, that's Segera. So, it's fun. Come join us. So I'm going to talk about sub workflow. So basically, what is new with the sub workflow like in NFCore? Uh, what is our plan like currently and maybe in the short, long, medium term, whatever, and some demo time. So yes, tiny disclaimer to start. I think it's always important. More or less, what I'd say are more or less like my own takes of what uh, what the community is doing. So other developers might follow my ideas. Other developers might have other idea, but I think it's good because that's how we are uh, forging the best practice. So it might and it probably will evolve some of the logic, some of the syntax, some of the stuff. But I think it's good that we try stuff and we figure out what is the best way to do stuff. So all of the new stuff. So I think the most important part is that we have now like sub workflow in a specific uh, folder in the NFCore module uh, repository. So if we can have a look there, if we look at uh, the repo, we have a sub workflows folder and in sub workflow folder, we have like an NFCore folder and in that folder, we have all of the current like sub workflow for NF core. Uh, I think the most important thing that we did during, no, not the most important thing, but for me, the stuff that had the most uh, impact of, on my uh, work on the pipeline was actually the naming convention that we had, uh, which is uh, basically like explain all there. <clears throat> And uh, we want to have like a naming convention because that way it's much more easier to understand directly what a, a sub workflow is doing or not. Otherwise, like we have a lot of documentation uh, here on this page, which is okay. the bottom of the page, which is DSL2 uh, sub workflow that's in uh, the doc contribute, contributing. DSL2 sub workflow. So a lot of the logic is inherited from the module. So we still keep the same terminology, which I think is super important. So remember, like in NFCore, like a module will be like just the atomic process, and then the sub workflow is a chain of module. And then all of the logic is like is pretty similar to all that. Uh, all of the underlying logic. Then we also have like a lot of documentation for that. And uh, what we did new is like some new uh, tools uh, command. Uh, we don't have everything there yet. So I will, I will wait, let me, yeah, where, where was I? Let's finish the, the, the presentation before we actually start the demo. A uh, new command in tool. So I will show that in the demo time as well. So uh, the plan, we do have a plan, of course. So at least I have a plan myself, which is like uh, translating all of the local like sub workflows that we had in Sarek and putting all of that into uh, NFCore because that way I think it's uh, very good for the community. And uh, I'm hoping also to help other pipeline uh, to do that and to convert more and more like local sub workflow into uh, NFCore. So that way I'm pretty sure we can find like a proper logic to be smarter and to do smart things. It's a bit redundant, but that's that's my plan. And uh, I think with that, we could find like really some uh, new way to do stuff for new pipeline. Uh, I think like for me, one of the examples is that in Sarek, we use a free base. 
Uh, it's one of the tools that we use. We use like mini tool, but at least I know that Freebase is used by other pipelines. And I'm pretty sure that we're doing some stuff in Sarek. Uh, we have like a spread and gather like solution that uh, can help like speed things up. So we are trying to import that into the NF core module. And I'm pretty sure once we have that in the NF core module, then other pipeline uh, might be able to import this sub workflow. And I'm pretty sure that will be a huge gain for the whole community. So I'm really hoping like really looking forward to that. So, and now uh, let's go into demo time. So I'm going to demo uh, how to install a sub workflow. So I'm going to install like a sub workflow uh, that I just created yesterday. Actually, I just ported a local sub workflow from uh, Sarek into uh, NF core module. So I'm just going to do that. So first I already did that. So I installed the dev version of uh, tools. This part is the most important, I think, dev. So I did that already. So now I'm going to my local repo. It was a bit slow. Okay, this is, it's my own fork. Uh, okay, I'm just creating a new branch. That's fairly simple. So now we have the new NF core uh, tool. Uh, there's this like command sub workflows. That's the infrastructure team. So uh, Matthias, Julia, and uh, everyone else. I don't know who else is involved in the infrastructure team, but they did a pretty like good job with all that. And uh, I always like what they do. Like it looks like so fancy, like what they're doing. Okay, no command sub workflow. Oh yes, maybe just without the S sub workflow. No. I Sub workflow. Oh, yes, that the, the S was there. Yes, don't misspell stuff. Okay, so for the pipeline, we have info, install, list, remove, and update uh, to develop new sub workflows that will be like uh, very similar to the same command that we have in uh, for the modules. So I will not show that, but I will show all of that. So let's try like NF core sub workflow info. I want to have like an info about like the new, the new like uh, sub workflow I want to install. So is the sub workflow locally installed? No, because I want to install it. Please select a sub workflow. So I want to select the VCF annotate VCF. And I have some nice information about all that. It does perform annotation with snip effect and then bgzip plus tabic index the resulting VCF file. That's perfect. We do need like a meta map, VCF, a version of the snip effect database, an optional pass to the root cache folder for snip effect. And then we have like output. So compress VCF file plus tabix index, uh, HTML report, and of course the version. So what were the other commands that we could see? Uh, install, list, remove, update. Let's check uh, list. I want to list, uh, list local. No local, that's some logic. And list remote, okay, that's the same one. Okay, then let's go for uh, install. Oh uh, wait, before I actually install, let's remove the, the one that we had. Git remove uh, some workflow local DCF annotate snip effect. So I removed my oh yes, I run minus R. Sorry, I removed my local version of, uh, of this uh, sub workflow. I will now install the new version. So that's sub workflow install. And I want VCF annotate. I could copy from there, but I want to try out what's happening if I don't do anything. <gasps> this, is so, oh, this is so fancy. I love that. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm a big fan of auto completion stuff that. Uh, it is doing that. Okay, that was super fast, so it's done. Use the following statement to include the sub workflow. So I will grab that copy. I launch my code. 
I have a sub workflow where I have that local. Okay, this is my meta sub workflow where I uh, do everything. So I'm just copy pasting this new command here. Okay, let's just align everything well. Okay, that looks good. Uh, so annotate all A will use this new sub workflow which is located there. That's nice. I don't have my VCF uh, annotate uh, snip effect anymore because it's now there. So that's wonderful. That's what we expect. Okay, where are you with the kit? So we deleted some file, we added some new file and we modified some file. Let's add the new file. Okay, so we we move to file. Oh, so, so the meta YAML is different enough, so it's like a new, it doesn't register as the, as the renaming. Uh, the script itself for the sub workflow is exactly the same, which makes sense because I created it yesterday and I basically copy paste everything. Uh, what is happening in the module.json file? Uh, git diff module. Okay, oh, this is new. Installed by module, installed by module. Okay, that's interesting. It's just looking, I like to, to check everything that's happening. I think it's important. Okay, <clears throat> so let's add this new file. Okay, let's commit everything. Replace local version. Okay, let's push. Let's push. And let's create the pull request. We want to do that in dev. I replace some workflow and that's why ECF and date snip effect. Okay, create the pull request. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I'm thinking there is just one last step that I need to do, but this is like very specific to Sarek. Uh, yes, I need to change uh, path to the file here. Uh, we are doing like pi tests with like tags, and we are uh, watching like uh, if some of the files are being changed or not, like from one peer to another. And then we are uh, triggering the test just on that. So for that, uh, because of the path is not the same anymore, I just update the path. Is done. Let's commit that as well. And let's push. And I see I'm hoping that we are done with this pull request. So yes, we can see that it was failing before. I'm pretty sure because of the test that were failing. No, everything is triggered. Uh, as we can see, PyTest workflow is being triggered at the moment. I'm guessing once it's triggered, it will like uh, figure out like which uh, test it has to run or not, but that's like something else. So I think that's good for, for that. Uh, let's go back to here. So I paste like the wealth of the restory like uh, here in my uh, slides and I will share my slide at the, uh, <clears throat> after this talk. Uh, I think now it's time like to thank everyone and to go for the question. So these are like the institutes that are participating in the NFCOR. I really need to update that slide because I think it's uh, it's already one year old and I'm pretty sure we have like more people now. 
Uh, same with the contributor, but I really want to like thank everyone that is contributing to NFCore because it's a community and that's a community effort. And uh, like without like everyone else, we wouldn't do anything. Uh, if you have any question, please ask them because that was mainly like just a demo and that was fairly simple. I'm pretty sure like people have more questions. Thank you very much. So you're now able to uh, unmute yourself. So if you have questions, either put them in the chat or um, ask them straight away. I think I saw some questions in the chat. I will, uh, I will stop a, sharing. It is not a question, it was oh. a comment. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. Uh, someone is being very happy that there are already 24 sub workflows. But that's good. Um, Yes, because we started like the sub workflow at the hackathon, like properly. So that's that was when last month or uh, two months ago. Last month. Yes, so twenty four, like just in a month. That's good. I'm pretty sure we will have like more and more coming. And I know that uh, Matthias is working on adding the uh, the command uh, line help for NFCore tools like uh, soon. I'm guessing we're waiting for uh, release of tools for that. Uh, John, you have a question. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so thanks. Very interesting talk. Uh, so I'm I'm uh, quite uh, new to this, but I use uh, Nextflow, uh, and I am also a little bit uh, used to NF Core. But this thing about sub workflows is this specific to NF Core, or is this something that can apply to other Nextflow pipelines? Oh, no, this is something that can be applied like to any any pipeline. Like we developed that like uh, I think first in mind like of NF Core like the module. But then every module like uh, like in Nextflow everything can be a module. Like every process can be a module. Every chain of process can be a module. Even like the workflow itself can be a module. So you can import whatever you want, however you want. So definitely what we are creating here with NFCore, like this sub workflow stuff, it can be used like in the broader uh, Nextflow community without any issue. Okay, okay, thanks. So I also have a question or maybe a comment also. Okay, so um, that was a great presentation. However, I was going to ask a, maybe my first comment is similar to what John just said. The presentation sounded more like um, sub workflows where NF core things instead of a next flow thing, you know? So uh, I, I think that's why he was asking that question about whether sub workflows were NF core or next flow. So my other question is that, What's the naming convention for sub workflows in NF Core? So is it like the first word is a verb followed by the the names for the tools that you are chaining together in that sub workflow? Because I noticed some pattern like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Yes, yes, yes. We have this convention. It's definitely like an NF Core thing uh, only. I'm guessing like other people that develop like uh, stuff might want to follow a convention as well. So. Yes, I'm happy like to to talk more about that. But I think okay. yeah, we have this convention. I think it's the the file, the input file type, which is like first. Then it should be like a verb, and then the list of the tools that are used. Okay. Okay. So for example, like in that case, what we were doing with like this sub workflow that I just added, it was uh, VCF underscore annotate underscore uh, snippet. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Are there any more questions? It doesn't seem so. Um, so if you have more questions, as usual, you can go to Slack, either in the bite size channel, or there's actually a channel also for uh, sub workflows. Yes, there's a channel for sub workflow, uh, a channel for tools as well, obviously. Obviously. Uh, or you can directly ask Maxime. <gasps> yes, that's Otherwise, I would like to thank Maxime for the talk and uh, as usual uh, for funding the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative and you all for listening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye.